Hi there, I'm Alicia with the Surface Team, and thanks for joining us. If you're like many of our customers, you're probably interested in Surface, but at the same time, curious about how we address common deployment challenges and make device management easier and more efficient. There are new demands on IT teams to deliver secure productivity from anywhere, and a legacy approach to device management does not meet those demands. You're seeking new ways to be more agile and help people perform at their best, wherever they are, in a very dynamic operational landscape. At the same time, you're building plans for getting to modern, all in an environment where there is more focus on every dollar being spent. In this webinar, we're going to show how Surface can be deployed, managed, and secured in a hybrid cloud and on-premises setting. First, We'll explore how an organization can streamline their deployment with a move to Windows Autopilot while still leveraging their investments in on-premises infrastructure. Then, you'll see how only Surface provides complete device management from hardware to software to the cloud while giving IT ultimate control. And finally, we'll sit down with Surface expert Harshita Murthy to dive deep into how Surface provides intelligent and secure hardware that protects your organization with chip-to-cloud security, keeping users' devices and data safe. So, let's talk about the wide array of challenges IT experts face in today's workplace. From getting devices into the hands of employees to ensuring they are able to be productive and collaborative no matter where they are. In the face of these challenges, IT needs a unified perspective, a seamless experience connected across devices that enables them to address these issues head on. At Microsoft, we've been studying these challenges our customers face and have created modern tools to resolve them built into Microsoft 365. By shifting to Microsoft 365 and Surface, our customers have seen IT time savings and greater efficiency. A study conducted by IDC found that with Windows Autopilot, devices deploy over 20% faster and customers experience a 21% reduction in the IT staff needed for deployment. So, what does this move to the cloud look like? Meet Contoso Corporation. Now, this fictional organization has been around a while, and they use traditional deployment and management methods for their devices. Most of their infrastructure is on-premises, and they leverage Imaging and Configuration Manager to control the policies, apps, and updates for the thousands of devices in their organization. This is the way most of our customers have been configuring Windows since the 90s, and hey, it gets the job done. Users are provided with an updated device that has required policies in place in the apps they need. But making that happen with traditional tools presents opportunities for human error and requires a lot of manual work for a large IT team. A device's journey starts here, in a place you may recognize, a room full of busy IT professionals. Contoso needs a large IT staff to deploy and service all the devices in their organization. A Contoso-approved system image needs to be deployed to each device, either through an armada of USB drives or a sea of Ethernet cables. This process generally takes between 45 minutes to an hour per device, and it requires the near constant attention of the IT professional throughout. With the move to hybrid and remote working, having one centralized location where all this work happens is just not as sustainable or efficient. An unfortunate result of imaging is that device drivers, firmware integrations, and Windows updates are overwritten, causing potential functionality problems for users. Often, IT needs access to user accounts and credentials to set up their programs. As important as security is for most organizations, we still commonly see IT professionals writing user credentials on sticky notes and logging into network devices as someone else in order to perform device setup. This practice is extremely problematic from a security standpoint and has no place in today's threat-filled landscape. These configurations are performed by humans, and we humans can make mistakes from time to time. Sadly, this can result in an inconsistent experience for users, and these human errors are a leading driver of support tickets. This labor-intensive imaging process repeats anytime someone new joins the organization or a device switches hands. At a time when IT teams are facing budget cuts and being asked to do more with less, 
Contoso decides to embrace the cloud with hybrid management. This leverages their existing investment in on-premises infrastructure while adding the modern cloud-based capabilities of Microsoft Azure and Intune. So now, let's explore the life cycle of a Surface device deployed with Windows Autopilot. Autopilot is built and tested on Surface devices, and we believe that it represents the best Windows deployment experience. Whenever a new PC is built, that device's information is stored in the cloud. When Contoso purchases their new Surface devices, a Cloud Solution Provider, or CSP, associates the newly ordered devices with Contoso so that right out of the box, each Surface already knows who it belongs to. Contoso easily grants the CSP partner permission to access their Microsoft 365 tenant through a secured platform called Partner Center. The CSP then works with Contoso to craft a series of deployment profiles in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. This device is going to a new remote employee named Anna. Anna is joining the sales team, which is constantly on the go. They connect to different Wi-Fi networks in customer offices, hotels, and cafes, so they need unique policies and apps to do their job successfully. Because Contoso has set up Intune Connector for Active Directory, Contoso's database of users is easily pushed from their on-premises systems to Microsoft Intune, enabling device management in the cloud. This means they can easily assign Anna to the sales team group in Azure Active Directory. With this one action, Anna's new Surface, which hasn't even shipped yet, already knows exactly how to set itself up. This is because Intune already knows that all members of the sales team need a specific set of apps, policies, and settings applied, and it does so automatically whenever a new device is set up for a member of that group. With all this done through the cloud, IT no longer needs to physically deploy the devices themselves, and instead, the device can be sent directly to Anna. Today's the day. Anna has just received her new Surface and is ready to begin her job at Contoso. With Windows Autopilot, Anna's device ships directly to her door. She breaks the factory seal and turns on her device for the first time, greeted by the out-of-box experience. Once she signs in and connects to the internet, the device sets itself up with all the drivers, settings, policies, and apps she needs without IT ever having to touch the device. Contoso has provided Anna a Surface, and while any Windows device that meets the criteria supports Windows Autopilot, there are distinct advantages to choosing Surface. First, with Surface, we offer complete device management from chip to cloud. IT is able to remotely manage the hardware components of Anna Surface using the Device Firmware Configuration Interface, or DFCI, which is unique to Surface. This allows for granular, role-based control of the device hardware. For example, let's say Anna's device is stolen and the thief wants to re-image the device for themselves. This is impossible because DFCI can prevent the use of a USB drive to reinstall Windows. Or let's say they want to set up a kiosk device. DFCI can disable the camera, USB ports, and Bluetooth radios on that device for added security. Other Windows devices do allow for IT to manually lock down the device firmware with a password. The problem is, if they do not do this, then any user can set an irrevocable password and IT has now lost control of the device. Surface devices are the only PCs that allow this to be done with a company issued and controlled certificate that is applied remotely and in the cloud. Second, Anna's Surface comes with Microsoft's signature image. Streamlined and ready for work, it is free of pre-installed software that Anna doesn't need. Third, Surface devices come with the Office installation files preloaded. This means that Anna doesn't need to wait while her device downloads apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Microsoft Teams. They're already on the device and ready to be activated. And finally, if Anna's device ever needs to be exchanged through warranty, Microsoft will disassociate the defective device and associate the replacement with Contoso, so it's ready to be set up with Anna's profile. This user deployment process takes about 15 minutes to an hour, and once it's finished, Anna is greeted by her Windows desktop. Her files are already there, syncing and backed up to the cloud with OneDrive. 
She's signed into her commonly used apps, including Microsoft Teams, and her sales team SharePoint site is already syncing in File Explorer. The simple fact that Anna does not need to perform this setup herself is game changing. Having the devices shipped directly to users reduces overall IT spend. That same study conducted by IDC found that the combination of Surface and Microsoft 365 provides a return of up to 2.8 times your initial investment. As Anna uses her Surface throughout the years, the IT team is responsible for making sure the device is healthy, maintained, and managed. They do this using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. This is the powerful combination of cloud-based deployment through Intune and familiar tools like Configuration Manager in a single product. Through Intune, they can manage the wide array of devices in their environment, including Android and iOS devices. Because Anna uses a Surface, it's even easier for IT to manage her device using a single intuitive dashboard called the Surface Management Portal. This is our centralized location to manage and monitor Surface devices. Here, IT can check assigned users, policy compliance, available storage, device warranty status, and even view and submit Microsoft support tickets all in the same location. The goal is to reduce the cost of managing warranty and support requests. And in fact, we've seen some great results. IDC found that customers reduce help desk incidents by 49% using Surface, and 40% less time was required to manage and update Microsoft 365. Anna has decided after many happy years to leave Contoso and pursue one of her lifelong passions. Much like Anna, her Surface will go through a bit of a transformation too. Its next user is on a completely different team at Contoso and needs very specific apps installed. Now it's up to IT to get the device ready for its next user. This time, they decide to go with a pre-provision deployment. This leverages all the benefits of Windows Autopilot and gives IT the opportunity to complete the more time-consuming steps in advance. During the out-of-box experience, they press a special keyboard combination and the device confirms who it belongs to. With a simple press, the device pre-provisions itself for the next user without the need to enter their credentials, keeping the account secure. We view pre-provision deployment as a great option for any time a Surface needs to be set up quickly. For example, that could be a single device for an executive or hundreds of student devices being deployed at once on the first day of school. Once the device has reached the end of its usefulness at Contoso, IT uses Intune to disassociate it so that it can be recycled, donated, or sold for value recovery. You have just seen the benefits of Windows Autopilot throughout the life cycle of one service device at Contoso. These transformative efficiencies scale as Contoso grows and deploys thousands of devices. That is the benefit of complete device management from the firmware to Windows to the cloud, and it's made possible by the powerful combination of Surface and Microsoft 365. Underpinning all of this, though, is security. We understand that some of our customers may be hesitant to move towards cloud-based deployment and management. Increasing security and providing better protection for your organization is at the heart of Surface's approach to modern management. With Surface, your devices are just as secure in a home office as they are in a corporate office. Our design teams and engineers embrace a security-first design model. Every layer of Surface, from chip to cloud, is maintained by Microsoft, giving you ultimate control, proactive protection, and peace of mind wherever and however work gets done. To dive a little deeper, let's talk to a true Surface expert at the hub of all things security at Microsoft. This is the Microsoft Cyber Crime Center. Here, cybersecurity engineers in the Cloud and Digital Crimes Unit are on a mission to protect customers and Microsoft from current and emerging threats related to security and privacy. The Cyber Defense Operations Center brings together security response from across the company to help protect, detect, and respond to threats in real time. 
informed by trillions of data points, this center employs automated software, machine learning, behavioral analysis, and forensics to create an intelligent security graph. When an issue is identified, Microsoft and Surface are uniquely positioned to resolve it with our single solution approach. Because we own the operating system, we're able to detect threats and push fixes through Windows Update for Business all the way to the microcode at the firmware level. Let's head inside. Hey, Alicia. <laughs> hey, Harshitha. It is so good to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. I know that you're on the technical marketing team and you originally came from engineering. So we're so glad to be able to learn a bit more from you. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and your role at Surface. Thanks for having me here, Alicia. I'm currently a senior product marketing manager at Surface, where I have the amazing opportunity to strategize how businesses can streamline their work and achieve productivity through Surface. Prior to this role, I was an engineering product manager in Surface who led creation of multiple new experiences on Surface. It's great to be here. And it's great to have you. <laughs> Over the last two years, we have seen how the way we work has changed, right? And how security threats have evolved. How did Surface evolve their approach to device and endpoint security to meet those threats head on? Over the last couple of years, it's clear that our professional and personal environments have merged. Bad actors are looking opportunistically at the new normal of hybrid work to target their efforts with new attacks. This is a threat landscape that we are seeing reach new levels. Cyber attacks are increasing and so is surface sophisticated security protection. Security is more important than ever. Here's how we are addressing it. As you mentioned earlier, every layer of surface from chip to cloud is maintained by Microsoft. The new set of hardware security requirements that comes with Windows 11 is designed to build a foundation that is even stronger and more resilient to attacks. Surface takes an end-to-end -end approach to supply chain security by incorporating industry standard security controls and risk management methods when designing, developing, manufacturing, deploying, and maintaining Surface products. We want to give organizations the freedom to work anywhere while retaining the control they need to stay secure and streamline device management and protection from Microsoft. Very nice, Harshita. So we've been saying chip to cloud security a lot today. <laughs> Can you explain to us what does that mean and why is it a unique approach to security from Surface? Absolutely. We have a very strong basis for how we handle security and every Surface device is designed with powerful security right from the start. From the hardware level, to the firmware that is built on Surface, to the Windows operating system and all the way to the cloud, each layer is built with security as the building block. Okay, let's start with that hardware level. What hardware components in Surface enables advanced protection? Industry-leading biometrics provides device owners instant and more secure access with Windows Hello for Business. To complement software algorithmic improvements for facial recognition, some of our Surface devices have enhanced hardware in the camera system to improve facial authentication performance. Once you're off to work, you can be rest assured that your data is stored in a secure fashion with BitLocker encryption. On a select Surface devices, we also enable retention of sensitive data with removable SSD. Here's something that's big for us too. We are bringing Surface with Pluton technology to Surface. With TPM integrated directly into the CPU, the potential for attacks is severely reduced. Wow, I feel like I'm getting the inside scoop here. <laughs> all right, so engineering built all these hardware components for improved security. What's next? Yes, we have built our very own UEFI, which helps IT manage firmware and hardware components. We have built tools to help you disable hardware components in a seamless fashion with device firmware configuration interface for Intune users and Surface Enterprise management mode for others. Secure Core PC is a well-known terminology that indicates the advanced protection of firmware and dynamic root of trust measurement. Since we own our own UEFI, we were able to build Secure Core PC on select Intel devices through firmware innovation. Even after the product is launched, we do rigorous testing with thousands of devices before the update is pushed to surface. 
we have a high bar for how we handle firmware updates to ensure high quality. Surface continuously reviews device telemetry data and pushes updates to improve things like performance, stability, Wi-Fi, battery, etc. This way, your Surface will continue to operate with high performance even after months of using it. Okay, so follow-up question. How does the Microsoft UEFI compare to the UEFI of, say, other Windows devices? First of all, UEFI was built by Microsoft for Surface, which was later open sourced. So we have a huge team of engineers continuously working on new features for UEFI and so many external contributors from across the world. This was created to be a security building block for security on Surface and firmware management. There's so much more flexibility and control on how firmware is managed with UEFI, it's game changing. For instance, when there was a security breach that impacted all Windows devices a few years ago, Surface was the only product that was able to push an instant firmware update because we owned our own UEFI. It was as simple as update your device with Windows and your device is protected against that massive threat. With powerful background security, UEFI also gives greater control on the hardware components. So Surface leverages strong Windows security features for improved protection. How do they work together to make it happen? Your Surface device is securely booted to ensure Windows 11 is authentic at every stage. Surface devices root of trust, check signature and measurements to help ensure each stage is secure and authentic before allowing the next phase of boot to proceed. This helps ensure an authentic version of Windows 11 is started and that the firmware is as genuine as it when it left the factory. With UEFI, our customers have greater control over device firmware like never before. Along with regular security updates, Surface also receives firmware updates through Windows Auto Patch. That's powerful. Windows 11 requires hardware that can enable protection like Windows Hello, device encryption, VBS, HVCI, and secure boot. The combination of these features have shown to reduce malware by 60% on tested devices. All right, Harshita, coming through with those fancy acronyms. <laughs> Can you elaborate on VBS and HVCI? I know these features are enabled automatically on Windows 11. So why is this important for endpoint security? <laughs> yes, HVCI, which stands for Hypervisor Protected Code Integrity, commonly referred to as memory integrity, is a virtualization-based security, VBS, feature available in Windows. It significantly strengthens code integrity policy enforcement. In short, VBS and HVCI help provide better protection against common and sophisticated malware intrusion by performing sensitive security operations in an isolated environment. And these are enabled by default on Windows 11 for advanced protection. Okay, so now let's go to the cloud part of chip to cloud How is Surface enabling greater security in cloud? Absolutely. Ultimate control remains in your hands long after deployment through a variety of features. Built with and for the Windows and Microsoft 365 security stack, our devices not only meet high standards for a highly secure PC, but are also capable of automatically receiving updates from a dynamic world of defensive security. Microsoft UEFI is able to be remotely configured through DFCI, which gives you control over security updates on your timeline and ensures device protection from factory floor to the end users. Okay, so I understand that while you were engineering, you led the creation of the Surface Management Portal. Tell us all about that. I had the absolute honor of leading a team of engineers to build an experience that gives greater control on how surfaces are managed by the IT. So here's what we did. We built an experience where IT admins can monitor device health remotely, gain helpful insights, manage warranty, and retain control through Surface Management Portal. We wanted to meet customers where they are, and hence we brought this experience within the All Services tab of the Endpoint Manager. You shared a lot of security benefits. But how do these benefits impact the bottom line? That's a great question, something all of our customers want to know. 
So we recently conducted a study with IDC that shows that there were 34% fewer security incidents with Surface and Microsoft 365, a 16% reduction in time spent on reboots and logins, and 44% lower total infrastructure costs per device. These metrics are an attestation to how security and cost efficiency can go hand in hand. Well, Harshita, our time is coming to an end here. So to summarize, what are some main takeaways that you can share? First of all, all these amazing products, Windows, Surface, Intune, M365, Autopilot are all Microsoft. So we put in a lot of effort and testing cycles to ensure they are work seamlessly together to bring one powerful Microsoft solution to our customers. Only we can do that. Second, Every Surface device come with a Microsoft designed and built UEFI and firmware that was created to be the building block for security on Surface devices. Third, we at Surface are the early adopters and leaders in innovation for IT, such as Windows Autopilot. We continue to build on that foundation and we added the FCI and Surface Management Portal. And finally, in a global environment where security threats are ever increasing in sophistication, Surface provides industry leading security across multiple layers, including hardware, firmware, software, and cloud. From conceptual design to the team members' first hello, Surface reduces complexity and elevates trust. This has been so good, Harshita. Thank you again for taking the time to meet with us. We really appreciate this time and for you sharing your expertise. Today, we focused on zero-touch deployment, cloud-based device management, and our chip-to-cloud approach to security. The combination of these capabilities help IT experts remove barriers and reduce complexity so Surface can do what it was designed for, help users be as productive as possible any way they are with the device they want to use. To learn more about Surface for your organization, visit surface.com business. For the latest updates, specifically for IT, subscribe to our blog at aka.ms slash Surface IT Pro blog. Finally, keep an eye on your email. We'll be sending additional resources like our modern management and security guides after this webinar. Many thanks to Harshita Murthy, the Microsoft Digital Crimes Unit, and of course to you for joining us for this session. Have a fantastic day.